immediately. Self-driving cars, are they coming? Are they going to be huge? Are they going to take over the business? Well, today on the road, we have a lot of vehicles with semi-autonomous features, and those are obviously building blocks to full autonomy. Now, there's different levels of full autonomy, so I think the term that's thrown around there is uh, we have to be careful with. But I do think as, as we go forward, there will be uh, fully autonomous vehicles on the road. Will they, there'll be a certain portion of customers that will want that, but there'll be a large portion of customers that still will want to drive their vehicles but have those semi-autonomous features to make them safer drivers. Self-driving cars, we hear a lot uh, from our friends in Silicon Valley about uh, they're coming, they're going to be everywhere. What's GM's take on this right now? So we obviously think that assisted driving uh, you know, is going to be part of the future, it's part of the reality today right now with adaptive cruise control and so on that's in the market today. So we're investing you know, significantly in these technologies. Um, we think we need to bring the customers along on the journey with us and it's not just having the technology out there but it's bringing the customer acceptance along with that, um, we think it's something that will evolve over time, uh, and we're investing a lot. We know you have Super Cruise coming, some, some uh, limited self-driving. How, how does that play into the Cadillac picture? You know, I'm, I'm glad that you asked that question, because people often, and you didn't do it, uh, phrase it as autonomous driving, which is really an unfortunate choice of words, because I think autonomous driving is precisely what we should not do. For me, we should harness the technology to offer driving assistance. Uh, to en en enhance the safety envelope, but we are a, a brand that focuses on making drivers' cars, and so it's kind of a an uncomfortable position to be to discuss this concept. Um, but there are many driving circumstances where driving, as enjoyable as it is, and as fantastic as the cars might be, becomes a bit of a chore. So imagine you're in slow-moving, stop-start traffic. It might be very useful to let the car take over. Um, if you're on a long road and it's just, you know, 10 miles of sheer uninterrupted monotony, this might be a useful circumstance to let the car take over. But uh, we don't see the, uh, the time arriving anyway time soon, not for technological reasons, but more or less for legislative reasons uh, and a whole bunch of questions around liability that will get to the point where uh, this utopia that is des described by many in Silicon Valley where we have little pods that drive themselves around May that not happen soon.